Have you had your camera record lately and discovered that you're missing a day or two? A whole day of footage is gone and you don't know where it is. Well, we're gonna talk about that today and how to fix that. First, let's go into our Blink app. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Teach Me channel. Today, I've got some exciting news to give you, but first, we've got to talk about glitches in the new app update for 2024. Then we're gonna talk about privacy zones and activity zones. And last, icing on the cake, we're going to talk about a special feature that maybe not everybody knew about. So stick around, it's coming your way. All right, first off today, let's talk about the new glitches that are here in the Blink app for 2024, one of which is really disturbing to some. Have you had your camera record lately and discovered that you're missing a day or two? A whole day of footage is gone and you don't know where it is. Well, we're gonna talk about that today and how to fix that. First, let's go into our Blink app. And of course, if you are watching this video on your mobile phone, it may be a good idea for you to watch this video on a television or laptop or some other device and have your phone with you so that you can go through these things with me. We're gonna have a great time today. Woo hoo, I'm excited. Hallelujah. All right, so let's go into the app at this time. As you can see, uh, I have several uh, modules that are connected to my account. You know, Blink says that you can have an unlimited number of modules on your account. I haven't tested, tested that, but right now I have three sync modules. And of course, you know that you can have up to 10 devices on a sync module. So that's pretty good. Let's go back now and talk about these glitches and missing days. Here's the issue. As you see, today is January the 25th at the time of this recording, Thursday, January the 25th. And if I were to go down, so today is Thursday, so scrolling up, I should see Wednesday should be the very next day, but it is not. It's Tuesday. So what happened to Wednesday? Here, here, here is the glitch. You go further on down, scroll down your activity. Oh, and there is Wednesday. That's odd. Have you noticed that on yours yet? If you have, comment below. That's very odd. Now, to correct this going forward, the answer is very simple. It's going to be in your filter section. So let's click on the filter button on the app. All right, then it's going to bring up some cameras that you have on that particular on that particular sync module. You just click the one that you that you want to view or the uh, from the image that you're trying to find. You say it was on the porch or it was in the crawl space as you, as you see, or the living room, whatever camera you want, or you can select them all. Then select motion, live view, you can select person or whatever applies to your account. And then collect and then press apply filter, apply filter. Now going back, we see today 12 events. And there is Wednesday. <laughs> yes. So all of 24 events, or rather all 22 events at my house there. And then scrolling all the way down, then you have actually uh, Tuesday the 23rd. So that's an odd combination, isn't it? You just have to look at that. Now to clear the filter, clear the filter, yes. Let's go back to the screen and click on the blue filter. And you can select clear filters and then you must hit apply once you hit apply then you see that the filter icon is then white again so if you're missing days check your filter all right now in some cases in some cases if you select all of all of those icons at the bottom it's going to go haywire and it won't show you anything oh that's very odd. I'm sure the blinks, uh, rather the texts at Blink are working on it. I hope they are uh, because it, it, that's, that's just an odd thing. But at least go ahead and you can press motion and live view person, that's fine. And you you should get all of your video clips back up. Yay, isn't that exciting? All right, now let's talk about 
privacy zones and activity zones. Not a lot of people know about these, so I'm going to tell you about them. There's a difference between privacy zone and activity zone. So let's go and find that out. Let's go back to the home screen of the app. And we're going to click on the little button by the running man. Okay. So we, and there are three dots there. We're going to click that. Now let's go into the device settings, device settings. All right. Now here in the, in the device settings, what we want to go into now, it's go into motion, uh, motion settings. And you see that it says motion detection, sensitivity, zones, and more. So let's go into zones and more, all of that. All right. So we want to go into motion zones, motion zones, the third option down, click there. Now, here we are. We're cooking with gas so to speak. This is exciting. I'm excited to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you as we talk about Blink stuff here on the Teach Me channel. Yes, we'll have more things on the Teach Me channel, but I'm pretty excited about Blink. And thank you so much for joining me. All right, let's look at it. All right, so we have two zones, uh, two type of zones, activity zone, and we have privacy zone. Now, activity zone, as you see here, activity zone, if I Let's say there's an activity here, street or whatever. When I click that area, it becomes gray, which tells the blink when activity happens in that area, ignore it. Don't sense motion and don't record when activity happens in that area, okay? So you're telling it, telling your blink camera, not your whole system, but just this camera because every camera, you can set up an activity zone and privacy zone for every camera if you would like. Once I've selected it and the area is grayed out, what's happening? Again, I'm telling the Blink, this particular camera, if anything moves in this area, don't detect it. Don't notify me of it. I don't want to know it. And you're telling it don't record uh, from that area, which is pretty good. Maybe uh, you're, you're in front of your house, there's a street. You know, and there are cars going back and forth. There's a lot of activity and you don't want to hear the ding, 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 ding. Well, I would tell you, or you don't want to be notified. Uh, I would tell you to set up your activity zones. Okay. Now you set up your zones. If you mess up or if you want to just start again, hit the reset activity zone and it goes away. So whatever is clear, Blink is going to detect motion in that area. If it's close enough within about 30 feet or so, it's going to, or less in some cases, it's going to detect that motion and let you know what's going on. All right. And it's going to record. If you have the subscription plan, it's going to record and it should be there waiting for you to view. So, if, but if there's an area on this camera, maybe there's a tree and it's just blowing back and forth in the wind and you don't want to see that. You don't want to be notified by a, a, a branch. Well, you want to click that zone, you want to gray it out so that, uh, so that you won't be notified when there's movement in that particular area. Now let's go back into privacy. Now you want to use uh, your privacy zone in cases like maybe your camera is facing the neighbor's house and you, for their privacy sake, you want to block out. You don't want to see when they're leaving their home or when they're driving in their home or maybe they're sunbathing on the, on the lawn. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see that activity. You can do two things. If we set this up as an activity zone and the, the cameras won't sense the motion, so won't record, but if it's activity, if anything within the, the camera's motion area, if it's anything in the camera motion area, it's going to record the whole screen. So that could be neighbor's house as well. Even though the activity happened at your front door, ding dong, it will record whatever the camera sees. All right. So again, activity area, activity zone, simply, you simply tell the camera if some activity happens over there, don't record any motion, but, or rather don't notify me and don't record if anything happens over there. All right. That's activity. But if something happens, in an area that is not zoned, it's going to record the whole screen. I hope I'm making sense. Going back into the privacy mode now. Privacy does the same thing activity does, but something more. 
here is the big kicker here. So let's go back to our app. Now, once I go into privacy mode here, notice if you tap the screen, first tap, you will see, I guess I did it twice. Let me back up. One tap, you see a dot. Now I can pull that dot and I can set up a little area there. So this is a little bit different than Activity Zone. Activity Zone, you tap the grid and it blocks out that grid. But Activity, a little bit different. So I can draw up to two, rather privacy zones, a little bit different. I can draw up to two privacy areas. Now I want you to see this. I'm gonna draw another privacy area over here. So I have two privacy zones. Maybe the first zone is your neighbor's bedroom window. Ooh, don't want that, right? <laughs> or maybe, maybe it's something else that you don't want recorded for privacy reasons. You don't want to infringe on someone else's privacy. All right, so I've gotten those two areas now blocked off. Now, what happens? Now I'm going to hit the done button. Once it's done, we're telling the Blink camera, not only if there's movement in this area, don't notify me, don't start recording if you see movement in this area, but also because we're in the privacy zone, we're telling it, don't look, don't show me this area at all. Now watch, as we go back to the, go all the way back out, now look at that. We're in the, in the home menu, and now if something happens in that area, not only will it not record, but you won't be able to see it either. Okay, so that's what privacy zones do. And again, you may want to use this if you're in the neighborhood, if something's happening, you don't, you say, hey, it's not my business. I'm blocking this out. Okay, yes, uh, he's sunbathing again. She's sunbathing again. I don't want to see that, <laughs> right? So you're not only saying to the camera, don't record when they come out, but don't show me this at all. Thank you very much. Privacy zone, okay? So you see those two are blocked out. Now to change that, to go back, all we have to do is go back into the three dots once again and of that camera and hit device settings. And then we go into the second one, motion settings, and you see zones there. And let's go to the third option, zones and click privacy, privacy, because that was a privacy zone. And we can hit reset there. You sure you wanna do that? Yes, I wanna do that. And that will take those away, those blocks away. It's like you're putting up neighborly curtains on your cameras. Think about it that way. You're putting up curtains so that you cannot see what's going on over there. All right, so I'm gonna hit reset again. All right, and they are gone. You may have to hit it twice, but they are gone. Now, I'm so excited, I'm gonna hit done to lock that in, and let's go back to the home screen, and of course, it's done. Now, here comes another mystery feature, and you let me know if you have uh, used this feature before, all right? So let's go back again. We're gonna go into our first camera once again, and we're gonna click the three dots of the camera. We're gonna go into settings. Now, we want to go into the very first tab, the general settings tab. Let me show you this. This is exciting to me. All right. Now, if you look down at the very bottom of the screen, you see camera temperature, camera temperature. Now click that. You can set your camera up to alert you when the temperature falls below a certain point or if, it, if the temperature rises above, the certain, above a certain point. So you have your own somewhat of a weather station in your camera. You know, you can tell it to do that. Isn't that great? I thought it was great. So if your camera's outside, it'll tell you, you can tell you always say what the temperature is at the camera and you can set uh, different points. I thought that was great. Just another little feature that lets you know what's going on before you walk out that door. Now there is no humidity uh, setting but there is definitely a temperature alert there in the Blink app. Just one more thing that will hopefully make your life a little bit better. All right, so if you've not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and join and join us. Hey, don't forget to like this video, share with a friend, and I'll see you on the next time. Thanks so much for joining me today for the Teach Me channel. Bye-bye now.
If you want to watch more tech videos, click this link. I also teach the Bible, and I enjoy doing that very much. If you want to watch one of those videos, click this link.